How do you clean grandma's bedpan? Oh, that's a great question and we're going to talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training, which is an online learning hub where we take house cleaners and maids and we take them through a whole entire course of how to start and grow your business. We have two sections. One is for employees, one is for employers. And so if you are learning the training, we have stuff for you. If you are running and managing a team of people, we have stuff for you. So check it out, SavvyCleaner.com. All right, on to today's show, we have a caller who asked this question. Okay, so we arranged a bedside toilet bowl for my grandma and the toilet in bowl needs to be flushed in the common every day. No one wants to carry the bowl to the to our toilet room because uh, it smells real bad and when you when you see it, it feels like vomiting. But someone has to take the responsibility. So can you help me find the easiest solution to this problem? All right, now I'm unclear by the question whether or not you're a professional house cleaner or whether you're a homeowner and you're just cleaning grandma's bedpan. Okay, so there are a couple things that I wanna go over really quickly. Whenever you are dealing with an elder person, there are a couple things that we have to stop and take into consideration. They're very, very embarrassed that they have to use a bedpan because it's not normal, right? They've, they're losing some of their independence. They can't flush the toilets themselves. They can't get around very well by themselves. And so ultimate respect is required, ultimate respect. So whenever you run into a situation like this, you wanna make it easy on them and not go, oh, that's so gross, that smells so bad. The truth is, yes, it smells really bad and it can make you want to vomit. And so it's really unfortunate that you're in this situation, but there are a couple of things that we can do. So first and foremost, as we go into dealing with this situation, we wanna address grandma and say, hey, how are you doing today? And we wanna ease the burden because she's probably thinking, oh no, they're about to come in and empty my bedpan. How embarrassing is that? And it could actually even put her a little bit on the defensive. There are a lot of times that elder people will get very defensive and mean and nasty, but it's not because they wanna be mean and nasty. It's because they're losing their independence and they don't wanna be a burden on anyone. And so by lashing out, that makes them still the tough guy. They're not the tough guy. They need our help. That's why you're going in to empty the bedpan, okay? So first and foremost, calm the fears. Like, hey, how are you doing today? We got this, don't worry about it. Let me go ahead and get this out of your way and just make it very matter of fact. Having it be very matter of fact is gonna ease and reduce that biting, stinging nastiness that often comes from elder folks. All right, the next thing that I wanna recommend is a cutting board. This is a flexible cutting board and we use them a lot in house cleaning because they line the inside of your mop bucket really easily. And when you get to a customer's house, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to put your cleaning caddy on a surface and you, there's not a safe surface to put it on, let's say something has leaked out of the bottom of your cleaning caddy, you can put it on this and because it's a plastic barrier between there, the, the cleaning caddy and your floor, it allows you then to have something safe to put your cleaning caddy on. It also has lots of other purposes, but that's one of them. So we use these a lot in house cleaning, but as you come in, to take the bedpan and just put this right over the top of it. Now you don't have to see it and you don't have to smell it. And so that reduces some of that right up front. Now I'm going to assume that when you come in that you're already wearing your personal protective equipment. That would be a face mask, which are hard to find right now, but you can also get a homemade one or you can even use a bandana, just something that goes over your nose and your mouth and will keep you from having to smell the strength of whatever is in the bedpan. All right, then the next thing is a pair of gloves. We wanna make sure that we're wearing gloves in case we have to touch the edges or in case there are any germs, in case anything splashes out. We don't want that on our hands. We don't want it absorbing into our skin. So if you're wearing your personal protective equipment, a mask and gloves, and you're not looking at it and you've created a barrier where you're not smelling it, you should be able to carry it carefully to the main toilet so that you can then flush it before washing it out. Now, when you wash it out, I recommend that you wash it out really well with the disinfectant. And there are lots of disinfectants on the market. This is one that just came out from the EPA. It's not new, it's been around forever, but it's just been re-registered with the EPA and it's on the list N for the coronavirus and the COVID-19 uh, elements that are out there. It sanitizes and disinfects. So you can spray it, you could leave it for you know, a few minutes, let that set in before you wipe it down and bring it back. That way you're bringing back a very clean toilet bowl in order for uh, grandma to use again. So recommendation, 
gentle, with care, precautionary, and consistent. Those are going to be the methods in which we treat this particular situation. And if we do it the same way every single time, and we train everybody that helps with this particular process the same exact way, then when you come in to take that away, it's just going to be very matter of fact, and then grandma won't get all upset or whatever. And I recommend that you just realize this is a part of getting old and everybody's going to need help at some point. Today, it's gross for you. And one day it might be your bedpan someone is changing. So anyway, I hope that that helps a little bit. If it does, please pass this on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.